VIP access. VIP access with Aniko and Africa Loud. Karibu sana VIP access with Aniko. Hapa mimi ndio naitwa Aniko na leo I'm hosting an artist from Tanzania. Kwa hivyo toko tunaongea Swahili. <laughs> yani kila siku tunaongea English kwa sababu we are in East Africa, we are in Kenya and we celebrate our culture, we celebrate our language and we celebrate those who continue to sing, speak and amplify the language of Swahili. Today on the podcast I'm hosting none other than Frederick Muller. If you'd like you can also call him King Tai. He's a rapper, an artist, music producer, um and also a singer from Tanzania. Lakini kwa sasa Kenya tumemchukua. Yeah. Mula, welcome to VIP Access. Asante sana. Asante sana. Mhm. Asante sana. Mimi nilikuwa najua sio VIP. Leo ndo nimejua kumbe na mimi VIP. Wewe ni VIP kabisa. Kwa sababu tumekuwa tunaonana. Yeah. Kuna wakati ulikuja hapa kwenye VIP Access ulikuwa na provoke. Yeah, sure. Uh, provoke was part of Umoja Sounds. Umoja Sounds. You are part of Umoja, Umoja Sounds. Sounds yeah. And I forgot to invite you to my you know table to my Mm. to my lounge mm. and so i'm very happy for you to come over here yani you are mm. vip and I'm, it's an honor for me to have you at this podcast asante sana mwenye <laughs> nashukuru sana kuwepo hapa na wewe karibu sana you know you know sifa zako ni kubwa sana tz so. kweli yeah ha so watu tanzania wakiona hii watazidi kuniogopa hata ndio maana nimesema tuongee kwenye lugha ya kiswahili kwa sababu yeah. my interviews kwenye vip access zile nimefanya kwa kiswahili kama na nandi uh-huh. jumajux nafanya vizuri sana swahili ah, kiswahili swahili uswahili ni uswahili ni uswahili ni yeah 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 and i do have a song kuna nyimbo inaitwa yeah. uswahili ni kuna wimbo inaitwa uswahili ni na yeye mimi nifanya nione kumbe kiswahili ni lugha kubwa yeah. east africa kuliko hata kiingereza really? which is really good yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah the song itself the song itself kiswahili uswahili ni ulisikia uswahili ni lakini mm-hmm. yeah uswahili ni uh, so kwa tanzania uswahili ni ni sehemu ambayo wanatoka watu wa low class. Aha. Huku huko anaita ghetto. Aha. Lakini kwa TZ ghetto ghetto ni mimi nikiwa na na crib yangu let's say crib Aha. yangu ndio mimi nikiita ghetto ina maana niko niko kwenye crib. So kwa TZ ghetto ni crib. Huku ni tofauti kidogo. Ni tofauti. Na tena huku ukisema Kiswahili ni yani unafikiria kitu kitu, kitu tofauti. Yaani waswahili yeah. lakini si hivyo kweli. Yeah, Tanzania si hivyo. Kwa kule uswahili ni mtu ambaye anatokea uswahili ni mtu ambaye atokea ushuani si tunasema. Mm. Ushuani ni huku mnasemaga mababi. Aha. Mababi. Yeah. So uswahili. Kwa napenda hii podcast kwa sababu hivi nafundishwa yani meanings yeah, za yeah, Tanzania. Yeah, yeah. Tanzania. Yeah, yeah. So, so karibu sana Kenya. Tunafurahia yeah, kuwa na wewe hapa. Mimi nishakuwa mkenya <laughs> Yeah. Yaani Mula nimekuzoea yeah. nime sasa kama mkenya. Unajua? Ni mkenya, najua mpaka Sheng. Kabisa? Eh, hey, najua mpaka Sheng. Yaani wa, wa, yani wapi difference kati ya mm. Tanzania and Kenya? Unapenda nini ambaye nakupendeza hapa Kenya sana? Uh, mimi napenda kwa sasa hivi. Sa mimi ni patriot tho. Wa Tanzania wasinichukulie vibaya. <laughs> Ndio maana navaa hii kila sehemu ninayokwenda. Na yes. Lakini napenda sana Kenya kwa sababu uh, kuna vitu vingi ambavyo mmetuzidi na inabidi tujifunze you know so mimi kwa kuwepo Kenya imenisaidia vitu vingi sana mm. hata in terms of ufanyaji wangu kazi mm. unajua Tanzania is my country sawa na papenda nyumbani lakini pace ya wa Tanzania kidogo inakuwaga haiko 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 faster sana yeah. Kenya huku watu wako yani watu wako fast mm. vitu vina move very quickly na vitu kama hivyo so ndio hicho kitu ambacho napenda sana kuhusu Kenya lakini pia science na technology huko pia iko iko juu sana. Kweli? Ukiniuliza when was the last time nimekuwa nimeshika noti ya pesa ya Kenya sikumbuki hata. Kila kitu Natumia tunamaliza tu kwenye mpesa. kwenye Mpesa na kila nice. kitu kinaenda hivi. Nice. You know, TZ bado tupo kwenye kutumia noti mm-hmm. which sio kitu kibaya. Yeah. Najua ni kitu kizuri pia. You know, lakini pia culture wise eh, kuna vitu vingine huko vilinishtua. So kwa Tanzania <laughs> ili uishi kwa kwa, kwa mkenya yote ambaye anataka kuishi Tanzania sawa ili niangalizwe na bidii ajue ili uishi Tanzania vizuri na Tanzania kitu kinaitwa shikamoo unajua shikamoo mm-hmm. hey, greeting marahaba ama shikamo, mnajibu aje mtu shikamoo kwa mfano ni mimi na kuamkia kwa sababu umenizidi umenizi aje uh-huh. so lazima ni kuamkia shikamoo shikamoo dada alafu najibu aje marahaba uh-huh. marahaba ujambo si jambo kwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho sisi kule kwetu kipo kila sehemu yote unaokwenda hata ukienda sehemu ukakutana na vijana ambao mpo katika same age mm-hmm. lazima usalimie ili uweze kupewa huduma 
So ukipita bila kusalimia afu ukiwa na tatizo hakuna mtu ambaye atakusaidia. Mm. Na kwa sababu hiyo ndio 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 waswahili jinsi tulivyo. Lakini nilipokuja Kenya sasa nikawa nikikutana na kila mtu najaribu kumsalimia watu wakawa wananishangaa sana. Kwanza ukisema shikamoo. Shikamoo watu wakawa wananishangaa ikabidi nimuulize provoke. Mbona huko watu nawasalimia na Yaani unaambia mtu shikamoo anakuangalia na niangalia. <laughs> Kabini mlize provoke. Kwa nini huko watu nawasalimia wana wakasema Kenya aturoli hivyo bro? No, si kawaida yetu. Si kawaida. Na sio kama ni kitu kibaya nikagundua tu ni ni culture. Ni culture. Hata mimi huwa nasema kuna wakati ambayo mm. na drive na kutana na polisi ananiambia, "Hi madam, na nashtuka. Oh, Unajua nashindwa nimefanya makosa gani?" Oh, Sababu yeah, si yeah. kawaida hata kuona guard ama polisi uh-huh. ambaye kwa anakusalimia. Uh-huh. Atujazoea hivyo. Eh, kwa Tanzania hata ukiona Mombasa wamezoea. Yes, Mombasa Mombasa Kidoko. na Tanzania tuko mbali. Yes. Tuna tunashia same culture. Yeah, lakini kwa TZ kule salam, eh salam ni kitu muhimu sana. Mm. Salam ni kitu muhimu sana. So <laughs> iwe imenifundisha kutafuta ku find balance. Yeah. Kwa sasa hivi najua nikiwa Tanzania basically ni nyumbani, so najua nikiwa nyumbani ni active vipi, nikiwa mm. Kenya najua ni active vipi. Mm. Najua kwa Kenya kitu ambacho nimejifunza ambacho ni kizuri sana ni kwamba kwa Tanzania sisi tuna tunachukulia salam kama ni form ya heshima mm, respect mm. you know lakini kwa Kenya is different mm. kwamba mtu mnaweza mkakutana tu stories zikaanza bila hata kumsalimia na imanishi kwamba umheshimu yeah, yeah. you know so yeah, yeah. culture differences na culture, differences, na culture yeah. connect nasema hivyo kila siku culture ina to connect na hata nap, yeah. nap, 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 napata kama ni interesting kusikia vile mm. una review Kenya mm-hmm. kama mtanzania kwa sababu kuna mm. many ways Kenya tuko mbele ama Nairobi tuko mbele yeah, sure. na many ways i feel like Tanzania na um, Dar es Salaam particularly mm. pia mm. nyimko mbele i yeah. feel like kwenye industry mm. ya yeah, entertainment mm-hmm. na feel ni kama Tanzania mko mbele kutuliko kwa sababu mm. um, naona kama kuna more club events club shows artists wanaweza kupata kitu kutoka kwa club mm-hmm. events more than here mm-hmm. pia na feel like um, entertainment wise mko na so much more media mm-hmm. ambayo ina promote um, artists na hiyo yeah. culture ya you know entertainment mm. any um, audiences pia wana mm. follow sana artists unapata kwamba so many um, ata influencers wana mm. followers wengi artists, sana yeah. unapata influencers na followers yani kama kwamba yeye ni artist lakini is just an influencer, influencer so yeah. unapata kama hiyo situation is very unique in Tanzania ndio kwa maana mm-hmm. hata wakati mwingine artists wa Tanzania wanatoa video mm-hmm. inapata millions of views kwa yeah. siku moja yeah. inakuwa news all over africa hata watu wako west africa how i understand so yeah. i feel like kuna vile um, numbers move in Tanzania mm-hmm. which is very unique specifically mm-hmm. to Tanzania yani mm-hmm. mnashinda kwa 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 ku kwa ku promote your own promote. artist ama ku, yeah. ku, kupenda your own um celebrity naona yeah. kama mnashinda hapo mm-hmm. na inaweza kuwa vizuri sana kama sisi sote in Kenya ama the rest of Africa can borrow some things from your industry yeah. um how do you how do you like that um industry in that sense has it worked for you kwenye swala la support yes tuko na radios nyingi sana na zina support local music vizuri sana mm. sawa lakini kwenye swala la shows no kwa Kenya naona kuna shows nyingi sana kuliko kwa Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Alafu pia unakumbuka kuna ile show ambayo ndio wewe uoga unaisimamia. Umoja Sounds waliperform kipindi fulani. Oh, nakumbuka. Yaani ile show ya Gote Institute Ego, the Jam yes. ambayo huwa na, na curate. Na curate. Yes. Na mimi nikaperform kidogo. Yes, yes, Wajua you performed. Unajua kale kidogo niliko perform. Aha. Uh-huh. Nililipwa pesa nzuri ambayo kwa upcoming artist wa TZ uh-huh. ni ngumu sana kupata hiyo pesa. Kwa kweli? Kabisa. Hata wasanii wachache ambao sasa hivi tumeshakuwa marafiki kidogo. Uh-huh. Ambao kwa huku Kenya sio wakubwa. Sio wakubwa, yani ni bado wapo sio underground pia uh-huh. na sio na ni sio A list. Uh-huh. Wapo tu kawaida hapo. Kuna shows wanazifanya na pesa ambazo wananiambia waga wanalipwa nikikompia na TZ ni tofauti kidogo. Mm. Kwa huku mtu kulipwa let's say laba 50k, 60k. Mm-hmm. Ni nomo. Ambayo kwa TZ hiyo nikiconvert na kwa 50k inakuwa ni kama kwenye laki nane au laki tisa. Hiyo mm. ni ngumu sana. Hata ni, tiz... nimetaka kusema yani mm. kulipwa hata 50k hapa yani inaweza kuwa it's 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 okay yeah. lakini hata bado ni lower kidogo. Kuna shows nyingi ambazo unaweza mm-hmm. pata above that. Above that. Yeah. 
lakini kwa Tanzania kwa msanii ambaye anaanza mm. ni ngumu sana kupata 50k okay, na kuelewa sasa na kuelewa 50k so kuna both sides kuna vitu vizuri yeah, na kuna, kuna give and take, yeah, give and take. Kuna advantages and disadvantages. and disadvantages lakini kitu kingine pia i feel like kwa kwa East Africa Kenya ndio kama ndio kama hub ya entertainment mm-hmm. na una ni kama huko kuna investments nyingi sana yeah. yani tofauti na TZ na mimi nasemaga ni kwa sababu ya wakati mwingine Kenya mshukuru sana mnaongea lugha mbili mnaongea Kiingereza na Kiswahili hmm. Tanzania sisi ni watu wa Kiswahili yeah. mimi nimezaliwa kwenye mazingira ya Kiswahili so hata level yangu ya Kiingereza ambayo niko nayo sasa hivi ni zile juhudi binafsi kwamba nilishajiona since when I was young nikasema one day nitafika somewhere so lazima ni get ready mapema yeah. kwa understand na vitu kama hivyo so i feel like pia um language wise kwa sababu mnaongea kiingereza hiyo mm. inawafanya pia ku interact na watu wengi international kwa, kwa urahisi zaidi yeah. kuliko kuliko Tanzania mm. kama ulivyosema podcast zako za Kiswahili zinafanya vizuri sana wa Tanzania sisi ni watu wa Kiswahili yeah. so kuna vitu kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo mimi najifunza mm. nikiwa Kenya na nikiwa nikiwa TZ which at the end of the day mimi waga sionaji kama mimi waga nasemaga Kenya na Tanzania ni kama nchi moja Mm. Nikitaka kwenda home mimi ni ni one hour. <laughs> Niko nyumbani. Yeah. Already. Arusha ni hapo 2 hours. Yes. Niko Arusha. Na wote tunakuwa tuko connected na mm. na Kiswahili. Hata ukiingia TikTok wa Kenya na wa Tanzania ni kila siku ni magishano <laughs> magishano. So which is really good kwa sababu mimi kwetu nimezaliwa peke yangu. Kwa hiyo najua una siblings wengine yes, tofauti. Yes, na wengi. Mnapokuwa siblings wengi napendana lakini kuna ugomvi wa kila of siku. Course, of course, kinafanyika. Kinafanyika. Yeah. So for me kuna ga hiyo mivutano na nini waga napata hiyo picha la kwamba sisi ni kama siblings tu ambao mm. kuvutana ni kitu cha kawaida which, wow. which is really good. Yeah. Yaani nimependa sana kusikia hiyo story yeah, yeah, kuwa hapa yeah. na wewe ile mm. kitu ambacho unajifanyia kwenye hiyo career mm-hmm. I love it because mm-hmm. I feel like sisi kama wa Afrika mm-hmm. we need to embrace more of our neighboring countries yes, yes, na yes, yes. cultures Culture. unajua inakuwa vitu nyingi na to stop kama mm-hmm. saa nyingine kununua tikiti na kuwa expensive nini yeah. lakini kama yeah. utakakwenda Tanzania you can take a bus you know you, you can drive there yeah, if you want to go to Uganda kuna vitu nyingi ambavyo mm-hmm. zina to limit lakini kuna vitu ambavyo tunaweza tukazifanyia tuka wenyewe nye, kama yeah, sure. hakuna kitu ambayo ina, ina stop artists wa Kenya mm-hmm. kwenda Tanzania Akuna. aishi huko you know for a couple of yeah, months couple of days, kama wewe yeah. kuna tuna stop kuja hapa kuishi hapa Akuna. so i feel like vile mm-hmm. unafanya yani mm-hmm. is the dream Yeah, it's, it's the a future it's the it's a vision i have for africa it's a vision nimekuwa nayo mwenyewe oh. imekuwa siku nyingi um, zamani kama nilikuwa nakuja tanzania mm-hmm. na kaa huko na kutana artists yani mm-hmm. naona chenye nafanyika kwenye industry imefanya hivyo many other countries mm-hmm. and i feel like si wengi ambao wako kwenye industry wanachukua yeah. time kwenda kwa country ingine, ingine yeah, kujua sure. yani kujifundisha nini na happen kwenye in industry happen, yeah. because Sure. you learn alafu unaweza ku exchange hata na wenzako so yeah. i applaud you for what you're doing and i think it's it's really amazing yani yeah. tunakaribisha kenya ukitaka uwe hapa hey. kila siku ni sawa tu mimi nipo kenya bwana <laughs> mimi mkenya natafuta tu jina la kenya sasa hivi that's so cool that's hey. so cool ningependa kuongea kuhusu group ya umoja sounds hmm. ambayo we ni part of the group yeah. na mwingine ambaye yuko kwenye umoja sounds amekuwa kwenye podcast mm-hmm. uh, a couple of episodes back yeah. uh, provoke who yeah. is an acclaimed mm-hmm. music producer mm-hmm. in East Africa Africa nzima ana anafahamika mm. so ilikuwa aje ukakutana na provoke na ukakutana na umoja sounds alafu ikakuwa aje ukakubaliana uka, uka utakuwa one of the group members eh hey, your story your story ni nikumbusha yani kumbusha vitu vingi naweza nikalia lakini usicheke kweli which is really good oh my so, god so ilikuwa ni 2021 mimi nimemaliza nime, nime chuo nimesomea mziki by the way niliona so, yeah, so nimema, niliona kwenye university of tumaini yeah, tumaini university yes. makumela so nime nilgraduate pale 2017 bachelor of arts in music hapa Bada, hapa juzi tu juzi tu 2017 baada ya kugraduate sasa najua nikawa nawaza like kwa kitu ambacho nimesoma kupata kazi ni, ni ngumu sana Ana. so mimi na my my friend ambaye tulisoma wote tukafungua kampuni kampuni yetu Arusha Arusha tu hapo. So mimi nyumbani ni Morogoro. So kutoka Arusha mpaka Morogoro ni kama 12 hours mm. by bus. 
you know, Morogoro ipo, ipo close na Dar es Salaam. Mm. Morogoro na Dar es Salaam ni three hours. Nice. Yeah, drive. So tukafungua kampuni yetu ilikuwa ni kama 29 2019. Ambapo ilikuwa ni studio. So ndio hapo nilipata nafanya mambo yangu ya production. So tuko tuna record mainly tuko tuna record choir. Tuna record choir kwa sababu choir ndio zina pesa majuma. Mm. Na nimetoka katika background ambayo mamangu alikuwa ana support kuhusu mimi kufanya muziki. So hata kwenda chuo kusoma muziki nilimdanganya mama kwamba naenda kusomea IT. So alikuwa anajua naenda kusomea IT kumbe mimi nilikuwa nasomea muziki. So hata nilipofungua ofisi alikuwa anajua ofisi na deal na vitu gani, you know. <laughs> lakini akailipia hiyo muziki. No, yeah, yeah alilipia, yeah, lakini alikuwa anajua kama ni muziki. So okay, tuko na ofisi na rafiki yangu Patrick. Tuna rekodi hapo, tuna rekodi maisha anaenda hivyo hivyo taratibu na nini bado tuna ndoto na mziki na nini. And then COVID ika, ika strike. Mm. So COVID ilivyo strike ikabidi tu tufunge ofisi. Kukawa kuna kazi. So maisha yangu Arusha yakawa ni magumu sana. Mm. Nikaanza mpaka kuuza nauza vyombo vya ndani, nauza bed sheets, mm. nauza sijui chochote, chochote nauza ili ni yes. kuwezesha. Kuwezesha ili ili ni survive, mm. you know. So nikana nili lakini baadaye mama nikawa naongea na mama. Mama anaambia mwanangu surudi tu nyumbani. Mimi sijakufukuza. Rudi tu nyumbani ujipange tena upya. Na utaki kurudi nyumbani. Sasa kuna unajua ukirudi nyumbani tena utakuwa comfortable. Uh, comfortable Afadhali tena. Afadhali wewe una hustle pale nje yeah. upate kitu. Ulipata kitu. Kuliko rudi nyumbani. Nyumbani. Like, but by the time ni kuarusha nilikuwa sifanyi tena muziki. Nilikuwa na focus sana kwenye kurekodi watu. Mm. Lakini nilikuwa sifanyi si focus kwenye craft mm. yangu mimi kama msanii. Lakini nikafika kipindi sasa maisha akawa ni magumu sana nikaona mm-hmm. eh acha nirudi nyumbani so nikafunga vitu vyangu vingine nikauza hata landlord wangu niliondoka siku mlipa rent ya, ya mwezi mmoja mm-hmm. nilimdanganya tu nimepata kazi somewhere nikipata hela nitakutumia siku siku mtumiaga mm-hmm. you know so alinielewa kwa sababu tulikuwa tunaishi vizuri <laughs> so nikarudi nyumbani so nimerudi nyumbani nao nikasema saa kwa sababu niko nyumbani acha nianze kufocus kwenye mziki 24/7 So nikaanza kufocus kwenye mziki. Um, kuna some of my friends ambao pia wenyewe ni, ni hip hop underground artist uh, au kana nipa ideas, si tunafanya albums na tunaziuza, unajua tunapata pesa, maisha mm. yanaendelea. So na mimi nikapata idea ya kufanya album. <coughs> Nikafanya album yangu inaitwa Moro Jazz. Mm. So Moro Jazz ilikuwa ni group ya zamani miziki ya zamani si tunaitaga zilipendwa ilikuwa mm-hmm. ni ya band ilikuwa ni kubwa sana mm-hmm. kuna mwanamuziki mmoja mkubwa sana wa Tanzania wa kipindi hicho alikuwa anaitwa Mbaraka Mwishe mm-hmm. Mbaraka Mwishe alikuwa anatokea Morogoro na kutokea alikuwa ni mwanamuziki mkubwa sana lakini maisha yake alikuwa anaishi Kenya pia mm-hmm. na hata alifia Mombasa mm-hmm. alifia Mombasa so nikaipa albamu yangu jina la Moro Jazz ni kama ku yani kama ku kuona, yani kumsifia, kumsifia yeah. you know mbaraka mwishe so wakati album imekamilika plan yangu ilikuwa ni iuze so niko nikawa niko na begi langu tu nimejaza CDs and then nawapigia watu wakitaka album na wafata na wapa so katika hiyo mehangaiko mehangaiko ya kuuza albums and then kuna rafiki yangu ndio provoke alikuwa amekuja sasa Tanzania 2021 so kuna rafiki yangu anafahamiana na provoke yeye yeah, alifikia somewhere called Kigamboni. Rafiki yangu pia naka alikuwa na ka same neighborhood ambapo provoke alifikia. Mm. Akanipigia simu akanambia kuna producer ametoka Kenya yupo mtaani kwetu. So kuna project anafanya uh, kama utapenda unaweza ukaja uka ukacheki. Mm. So me by that time nilivotusikia nilivosikia tu anatokea Kenya. Nikajua huyu mtu yuko serious. Hawezi ukatoka Kenya ukaja Tanzania kufanya project mm. kama huko serious. Tena ikakuwa coincidence. Yaani yule ambaye ulikuwa na celebrate kwenye album yako mm-hmm. alikuwa na Kenya. Alikuwa ya yeah, alikuwa hivyo. Connect. Co connect. Yeah. So the next day mimi nikaenda mpaka Kigamboni huko da, da pale. Ni mbali sana na ninapokaa lakini nikasema kwa sababu nilikuwa nina pesa ya album ninazouza hizo na mm. nini nikafika pale nikakutana na provoke. Ah akaniambia nimesikiza album yako nzuri na nini na nini pale akaniambia so you rap nikamwambia na, na rap lakini sikuambia kama anaweza kuimba. Nikaambia na rap so aka aka akanipa beat kama tisa, nine beats. Akanambia andike hizo turekodi. So kwa sababu alikuwa ame, amechukua compound kubwa na wasanii walikuwa wako wengi, mm. ndio ilikuwa mara yangu ya kwanza kuingia katika yani 
you know hizo compounds za kibabi yani kwa sababu alikuwa somewhere ubabini na ni za kibabi na kibabe hata mimi najua shenge ya Tanzania kibabi na kibabe you know compound iko karibu na bahari na nini so yani to me wakati nipo katika mazingira nikasema this is it this is it you know so nikachukua biti zangu hizo tisa nikaenda pembeni siku hiyo sikumaliza biti zote lakini nikaandika nikaandika nyimbo kama tano tuka record so zile nyimbo wakati nimerekodi eh provoka kawa nasikiliza kawa nasema eh nimekuja TZ kuna watu nilikuwa nataka kufanya nao kazi lakini sikutegemea kana ningekutana na na mtu kama wewe mm. you know hiyo ikawa nikawa na enjoy kwa sababu naona kitu ninachokifanya kina kinafurahisha kina course yeah so the other beats nikachukua nikarudi nazo nyumbani nikaandike lakini hivyo fika nyumbani nikasema no i need to to do a research kuhusu huyu provoka nikaanza ku, ku, kumchimba sasa ni nani eh nikagundua sio kufanya kafanya studio na wangechi mm. kafanya kazi studio coca cola coke studio coke africa, studio, africa. Yeah. okay nikaona okay huyu ni big deal so nikaenda home nikamalizia hizo nyimbo zingine nikaenda nika record so kila niki record wimbo provoka anakuwa yuko excited <laughs> eh akanambia ni wewe this year usipo blow up acha muziki you know lakini mimi sikuwa katika party ya umoja sound mm. ni mtu tu ambaye walikutana wali, wali tu na mimi njiani wao walikuwa na focus na wasanii wengine tofauti kabisa sio mimi. Mm. So mimi nikafanya kazi yangu pale nikarudi akawa ananiambia tuta tuta, tuta organize trip mje Kenya na nini na nini na nikasema cool so mimi nikarudi zangu mtaani kwenye aso kama kawaida. Mm. And, lakini tuka tuna keep in touch na provoke here and there muone kwa sababu nilikuwa pia nimeanzisha brand yangu ya merchandise so nikamtumia provoke some ideas ya yeah, anafanya graphics pia aka aka tengenezea some ideas na nini mm. nilikuwa naelekea huko kwa sababu my situation kwenye music ilikuwa ilikuwa ni ngumu sana mm. so nilikuwa natafuta kila possible way to make money ili mm. ili, ili ni strive you know nyumbani wana kuangalia umemaliza shule na uko tu nyumbani you know, una wadogo zako wamemaliza shule wana wana wamepata kazi wana mm. provide home mm. we big bro upo tu pale umekaa bado tu una, una dreams za kufanya muziki na vitu kama hivyo nimekaa and then provoke this one time aka 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 new cup na robert nadhani alikupigia si story yes, kwa robert yes. so robert alisikia nyimbo zangu aka akachanganyikiwa <laughs> yeye ye ni from ug yeah. so akasema sielewi Kiswahili Laki, lakini huyu jamani eh huyu jamani noma so hiyo nikaa naongea na robert na nini tunapiga story and then this one time aka akaniambia ni tume sijui nani id zangu na nini mm. kuna trip ya kwenda kuna trip ya kwenda kenya Mm. So kipindi hicho mamangu nao anaelewa kuhusu muziki na. But anaona na struggle. Kwa unajua wazazi. Mm. Anaona kama ah wewe umesoma si ufanye tu vitu vingine acha na muziki na vitu kama hivyo. Nikamwambia mama mimi naenda Kenya. So my mom was so excited, vibaya sana. Alikuwa excited ndio marangu ya kwanza sasa kuja Kenya. Mm. Kaja Kenya. Uh, tukaenda na Nyuki. Tulikuwa tuko camp kule nilikuwa niko mimi kuliko Mbithi sijui kama unamjua Mbithi Namjua yani mlikuwa writing camp ya Umoja yeah, Sound writing camp ya Umoja Aha. Sound tuka tukafanya nyimbo nyingi yes, sana yes, yes. kuna paka nyimbo ilitoka na eh, ambayo ilimshirikisha Mbithi last year so ilikuwa kutoka yes, kwenye hiyo camp ndio nyimbo nyingi yeah, zikatoka zikatoka huko mm-hmm. and lifestyle ya Nanyuki ilikuwa yani Ay. Na nyuki yani hata hapa tunaiconsider yani ni pahali pazuri hata ukiwa uko Nairobi then watika kuna na nyuki for nyuki, lunch ama yeah. for a weekend yeah, yeah, yani yeah. ni kitu so ni pahali relaxing, relaxing yeah, unaweza yeah. kaona Mount Kenya on a beautiful mm. day so ilikuwa ni poa sana kwa sababu na nyuki sisi kazi yetu ilikuwa ni, ku, ni kulala na ku make music that's it <laughs> just to be in the right mood unajua yeah, you know mso sijui kila kitu Kate kuna mtu yupo kwa ajili ya kufanya hivyo vitu vyote na, na kila kitu you know. moja sounds moja, moja sounds you know masana you know mazingira ya kule na nini hapo itaji kuje kwenye hizi songwriting camp <laughs> ah yeah no you know so tukafanya hapo so mimi kila nilikuwa nikiwepo najitahidi ku kufanya kitu best kwa sababu mimi nasemaga sinaga plan b plan a yangu ni mziki. Mziki ukifeli na mimi nimefeli so hicho ndio kitu pekee nicho kwa nacho so nikipewa beat na jitahidi kuwa fast na nikiwapa wimbo na jitahidi nikiwapa wimbo waweza wakaukataa mm. na nilikuwa na provide hivyo na provide hivyo ni kama tulikuwa tunashindana wasanii ku record ngoma nyingi na vitu kama hivyo camp ikaisha na nishaanza kuenjoy Kenya lakini natakiwa nirudi Tanzania ilikuwa ni kama two weeks so ah nikarudi Tanzania lakini deep down yani 
mwisho una feel tu nataka kurudi huko nataka tu nirudi huko yeah. kwa sababu nikiwa TZ sipati yo energy ya kufanya kazi na mimi mm. napenda kufanya kazi napenda kurekodi napenda kuwa productive each and every time na huko na niliona kabisa nipo katika right environment mm. lakini basi nikarudi Tanzania nikarudi kwetu Morogoro nika nipo tu na mama yangu pale nikiamka asubuhi na kwenda zangu gym kwa sababu napenda sana mazoezi na kwenda gym nikirudi nyumbani niko tu na mama anafanya tu kazi za nyumbani hapo na nini nika tu nimekaa hivyo so sikuwa party ya umoja sounds lakini sasa umoja sounds walikuwa wanafanya kazi na wasanii wengi pia so ikatokea wasanii wengi ambao wao walikuwa wanaishi ndio yeah. ndio ndio ambao wanatakiwa kuweka focus hapo wakawa wana wakawa wanazingua you know wasanii sisi tulivyo na discipline na vitu kama mm. hivyo so wakaanza tu ku drop 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 lakini wakakaa wakatulia wakasema ah, lakini kuna huyu kid mula mbona ana mambo mengi anafanyaga tu kazi zake ametulia yeah. ana vitu vingi na nini so ni kama wakaanza so nika pata tena trip ya kuja Kenya last year nikaja Kenya Robert akanipigia simu akasema utakuwa sawa kuja Kenya kama six months mimi nikaambia tu kinaambia miaka na miaka mimi niko sawa <laughs> I'm ready I'm ready mimi nataka niwe katika environment ya kufanya kazi you know akanambeba sawa so nikaongea na mama yangu hapo eh hey, mama yangu jua kwetu mimi niko peke yangu mm. so naambia mama naenda Kenya kama six months eh hey, mama anasema uko six months kwa naambia mama lazima nitafute pesa tunahitaji ku survive na vitu kama hivi yeah. afu na mimi naona kama my dream is becoming true now you know sawa passport yangu umoja sounds wamenidipia kila kitu wamenidipia wamenitumia pesa ya bima wamenitumia sijui pesa ya kunitoa morogoro for the first time in my life nilipokea kama ni kama ni kama how much ni kama ni almost ni kama 50k kwa mara yangu ya kwanza inatumwa kwenye simu yangu kwa mm. sasa hiyo pesa ni utatoa pesa hapo utalipia bima bima which was cheap cheap kabisa and then inobaki So wao wanani treat kabisa kama full packaged artist. Yeah, so mimi yeah. nikiangalia ile pesa naona hii pesa na vitu ambavyo wanataka nifanye, hii pesa ni nyingi sana. Mm. Nikawa nikasema eh. So nikatoa half, nikamtumia mama kidogo mm. ili kumuonyesha kwamba hichi kitu tunachokifanya kinaleta already. Kinaleta, you know? Aone. Yeah, so nikafanya vitu vyangu, nikafanya shopping kidogo and then huyo nilikuja Kenya na na ka backpack tu kadogo tu kana kana nguo sijui <laughs> kama kama tano na nini hivi. Nilikuja hivyo, you know nikafika Kenya na pia tulikuwa tuna wasanii wengine tofauti lakini the more tunaishi pamoja the more anaanza kujua tabia za wasanii mm. tofauti of course kwa wanazidi ku drop kwa mm. wanazidi ku drop so mwisho siku aka drop karibia wasanii wote nikabaki mimi tu kwa sababu ya discipline na vitu kama hivyo na ni kwa sababu mimi nilishaona nikasema hapa hapa ndo maisha yangu hapa yatabadilika so nikizingua nimejizingua mimi mwenyewe mm-hmm. so niko lakini hiyo ni behavior ambayo nilitengeneza since before. Unajua hizi mambo hazitokei tu yani from nowhere. Mm. Ni habits ambazo nimekuwa nikizidevelop toka zamani. Pengine mimi bila kujua, you know. So wakaona ah tuko na mula. Tukimpa kazi, ana deliver on time. Ana maneno mengi. So akaniita kikao, akaniambia so we uko talented sana, lakini kwa nini kwa Tanzania sio msanii mkubwa? Mm. Mimi nikaambia me what i know is niko na product lakini sina means za ku support product yangu you know so kama mtaweza ku support my product naweza nikafika sehemu ambayo mimi na, na wish kufika mm. so deal ya kwanza ambayo nilipewa na umoja sounds ilikuwa ni a management deal ambayo ilikuwa ni ni five years so wanani manage tu wanani manage na na record free na management that's it lakini wimbo ukitoka kazi ya mimi ku make sure wimbo unafika redioni ni mimi kwa sababu it is your your thing yes. najua sio si kazi yao yeah. which was really good kwangu kwa sababu you know kwa wasanii wengi tuna waga tunajisahau sana ukishaona una team ya kufanyia kila kitu unasahau kabisa mm-hmm. unaiswe kazi yako ni ku record tu hapana yeah. lakini ukiwa katika music business lazima ujue pia biashara around ikoje you know so kwa kwangu mimi ilikuwa ni kama chance ya kujifunza mm. you know so wimbo ukitoka mimi na na push tukiwa kwenye kikao naambia okay so wimbo tunaachia tomorrow plan yako ni nini so lazima niwe na plan before nime plan kufanya hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi yeah. na hivi na hivi so nikao najifunza vitu vingi sana and then tukakaa tena kipindi chote wananisoma tu wananisoma and then baadaye 
wakanipa deal nyingine ambao sasa mm. ndio walikuwa wana plan ya kuwa na msanii kwenye label mm. wakanambia lakini wewe tunataka tukupe hiyo uh, record deal hiyo record deal na vitu kama hivyo eh nikashukuru nikapewa tena record deal ya five years na nikaambiwa kabisa kwenye record deal yako ina ina worth this much sawa so, lakini hiyo pesa hatutakupa mkononi mm-hmm. you know asanii tena yeah. tukipewa pesa mkononi hiyo pesa wengi tunajuaga ni kwa ajili ya ku spend yeah yeah tutapata kazi tutapata kazi nyingine hiyo <laughs> kazi nyingine tofauti so tukupi hii pesa mkononi hii pesa ipo kwenye account hii pesa ndo hapo tutakuwa tunatoa kodi yako ya ya, ya, ya nyumba unapokaa mm. na pokitimani yako ya matumizi natoka hapo mm. you know nikasema ah which is nice mimi kazi yangu tu ni kufanya mziki so tumeendelea kufanya tumeendelea kufanya tumeendelea kufanya na kufanya miaka inazidi kwenda na provide kazi zangu vizuri baadaye sasa ikafika kipindi wakaona sasa eh kwa sababu ni ni, ni ni nadra sana kukutana na wasanii ambao wanaelewa hii biashara na wana wana plan ya sehemu ambayo anataka kwenda you know lakini wewe unaonekana unaelewa mm. you know naelewa wasanii tunavyo tunavyozingua i understand mm. unajua na nataka pia kujifunza the other side of business na vitu kama hivyo wakanambia sisi tunataka tukuchukue sasa kama uwe sasa na wewe party umoja sound sasa kama mfanyakazi wa umoja sound na vitu mm. kama hivyo nikakubali so nikakubali wakaanza kunitrain so sasa hivi ukiona wimbo wote umetoka kwenye DSPs na nini mimi ndo niko behind that so kwenye kutengeneza content kwenye kufanya nini hivi vitu vyote wana wananionyesha around na vitu kama hivyo so nikaenda yeah kwa sasa hivi na mimi ndio niko part of moja sound you know ukiangalia tapisha zangu za zamani sasa hivi nime eh, wakenya wanasemaga nimeomoka you know eh hey, nimeomoka eh hey, nimekuwa na shavu oh kidogo eh hey, niko healthy Mula, una ni pressure you sana yani kuna siku hata ulikuwa na ile afro unakukuka yeah 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 <laughs> nilikuwa na afro yani nilikuwa yani nime nimekonda nilikuwa nimechapa mbaya <laughs> ulikuwa umechapa know, nimechapa nilikuwa nimechapa mbaya you know lakini umoja sounds ndio hivyo you know mpaka hata hata mama yangu last time najua sisi tunapotoka tu tuna matatizo ya maji kidogo nyumbani hatuna maji tuna tunachota maji kwa kwa neighbors na vitu kama hivyo you know so sasa hivi mpaka nime nimesha lipa service za watu wapeleke maji nyumbani you know so hadi mama mwenyewe sasa hivi anaanza kuwa na hey, kumbe nilikuwa tu na ku nilikuwa spend ufanye mziki lakini mm. kumbe ulikuwa unamaanisha kitu ambacho mm. unakifanya so yeah shout out sana kwa kwa umoja sounds na pole sana kwa wasanii wote ambao walipata hii nafasi na wenyewe wa kuona kama opportunity <laughs> you know yeah wow congratulations yeah. kwa hiyo yani nah, niwependa sana hiyo story mm-hmm. Yani all the way from Morogoro, Morogoro to Dar es Salaam to Nairobi, Nairobi and now yeah. shuffling between Kenya and Tanzania you know making your dreams come true Na sisi Kenya tu na Tanzania you know last year tulikuwa Zambia Oh yes you went to Zambia mkarekodi na J-Rock na artists wengine wa Zambia Eh yeah, nilikuwa nipo kwenye EP ya J-Rock Kwa hivi pia. sasa mna, mna, mna jitarisha kwa trip ya kwenda South Africa South Africa you know kote nipo huko you know wow. ni maisha ambayo wasanii wengi wana wana ndoto ya kuwafikia lakini the problem is the system that they have yeah. you know mimi nasemaga mwisho goals ni muhimu sana lakini goals bila proper system goals na kuwaz make sense yeah. you know kusabu una goals lakini sasa hauna system ya kufanya goals zako ziwe fulfilled yeah. you know so watu wengi wanapenda mimi na mimi ni moja kati ya wasanii wachache sana kutoka Tanzania kwa sababu kijatizedi mimi sio a list artist sijisifi lakini hii ndio fact ya maisha yangu maisha ambayo naishi ni zaidi ya a list artist wa Tanzania you understand so nilikuwa na goals na nilikuwa na proper system mm. so what i'm doing right now is najaribu tu ku, ku make sure system yangu inazidi kuwa inazidi kuwa strong ili mm tuzidi ku elevate na kwenda juu zaidi. I love that. Yeah. Na pia kwa saa nyingine yani if I can learn something from your story. Mm. Kwa saa nyingine unatafuta wale ambao you can work with ama reason yeah. with. Inaweza yeah. kuwa yani environment yako labda itakuwa your home, mm-hmm. maybe itakuwa your country but mm. you can find similar yeah. minds. My similar Then you put minds, your uh, you know your your hands together and produce together, something, yeah. produce a project. Yeah. Yeah. I think watu wengi ambao wanatusikiza kuna yeah. wakati wanafikiria no I can't go and start in Tanzania I can't mm. go and start you can go and start anywhere anywhere, anywhere. kabisa you know. kabisa yeah. Afu pia ni, you know 
nilipotoka Morogoro nilikuwa na marafiki zangu so hata Morojaz my, my first album eh, ali produce rafiki yangu na ni kama ndugu yangu anaitwa GQ so mm-hmm. GQ yuko very talented ni mm-hmm. producer pia ni videographer you know so nilikuwa niko huko na nimeacha wasanii wengi sana ambao ni talented you know lakini sasa the difference is mimi nilikuwa spendi kukaa Morogoro yani nilikuwa nikifanya kazi zangu na jiona like eh hey, mimi nahitaji kuepo kule mm-hmm. you know wakati mwingine pia ni environment so wakati mwingine unaweza ukaona una kitu kikubwa lakini uko katika environment ya watu ambao hawa support ukubwa wa ndoto zako mm. you know watu ambao ham amfiki amfiki with the same mm. so the more unakaa kwenye environment the more hata energy zao zinaweza zikafanya uone kitu ambacho unakiwaza ambacho ni kikubwa kikawa ni kichaka mm-hmm. kicha kawaida so mimi hiyo nilishaona before so nilikuwa nikiwa katika any environment ambao unaona mm, hii environment i support kitu ambacho mimi na naota natoka mapema sana so na I'm shuffling you know to yeah. find what I'm about tunaweza tuka tuka relate katika thinking na uh, mm. you know yeah that's nice yeah. wana kuita king um tai ama master manondo kwa nini so king tai ilianzia chuo lakini haikuwa tai ilikuwa ni ego 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 huyu bad ego okay yeah. the ego ego kwa sababu wakati niko first year wakati nimeenda chuo nilisema goli yangu ya kwanza ku make sure mpaka siku nikimaliza mwaka wa tatu, mimi ndo nitakuwa mwanafunzi pekee ambaye nasomea mziki maarufu kuliko wanafunzi wote so this one time tulikuwa na basketball concert so mimi nachezaga basket you know kwenye basketball concert kulikuwa na live performance live band inapiga hapo so teammates wangu wanajua mimi i can rap lakini wagaspendagi ku rap mbele za watu you know So wakati nacheza wakanabiba na wewe hatutaki ucheze tunataka uende pale uka rap kwa sababu watu ambao walikuwa na rap walikuwa wanazingua zingua you know so akanifuzo akanifuzo nikaenda pale so niko tu na verse nikaambia band by that time uh, Beyonce alikuwa ametoa wimbo naitwa Ego mm. remix yake alikuwa yuko na J Cole so mi J Cole ndio kama role model wangu you know So nikambia mnaweza ku play wimbo but nzuri wako wanaujua. So wako wanapiga cover ya beat ya huo wimbo. Mm. And then nikaanza nikaanza ku rap. Kwenye chorus kuna mtu akawa naimba ni gonna be go. Mm. So kwa sababu ndo nilikuwa niko first year watu wengi walikuwa wanijui. Wakawa bwana ah kuna jamaa mmoja alimba wimbo fulani wa ego, wimbo fulani wa ego, wimbo fulani wa ego, wa ego. So jina likaanza jina langu ndo likaanza kukua likaanza kukua hivyo. Ego ego. So mpaka namaliza chuo watu wengi chuoni walikuwa wanifahamu kama ego. Mm. Nilivurudi mtaani. Ah nikasema hii ego imekaa kizungu kidogo. Acha nitafute maana ya ego kwa Kiswahili mm. ambayo ndio ni tai sasa. Sikujua hata. Eh ndio nikaibadilisha from ego ikawa tai. But that. king kuna presenter mmoja yuko kwetu Morogoro. So mimi ndio nimetokea msanii pekee ambaye na, na represent Morogoro to the fullest kuliko wasanii wengine wote kwa kutokea. Mm. So huyo presenter alikuwa anitaka king ana nita king so nikasema well so king nikatokea king tai but master manondo ni, ni kwa sababu ya mimi napenda sana mazoezi you know so master manondo ina, ina maana mbili kwa Tanzania mtu akisema bwana anyiko ana nondo ina maana anyiko yuko full of information mm. nondo ni information you know uh, kwa wakati tuko shule tulikuwa tunatumia like kwa wale watu ambao wanaingia kwenye mtihani wako wanamaliza ende dakika dakika kumi washamaliza au wale ambao wanakuwa na piece of paper ambao wame wame wame, wame copy, copy information ili wanani wanani tuna, tunasemaga wako na nondo mm-hmm. but other term ya nondo ni chuma you know na ukizingatia mimi ni mtu wa kwenda gym napenda kwenda gym kufanya hivyo na hivyo so ndio kaje hiyo master manondo so since ni chuma unajua Jimmy inatusaidia kwenye kutengenezea confidence na vitu hivyo. So master manondo as a word ina maana kubwa sana. Inasimamia vitu nyingi. Inasimamia vitu yeah. vingi sana. Full of information. Inasimamia yani kule kuwa living a healthy, healthy well, well lifestyle inamaanisha yeah. kuwa very knowledgeable yeah, ama kuwa yeah. na knowledge, knowledge na kuweka yeah. kwenye karatasi na kuweka kwenye nyimbo. Nimekuelewa kabisa. Kwa hivyo inakufaa kabisa hiyo jina. Eh yeah, inanifaa na imekuwa kubwa by the way hata sikutegemea. Kwa hivyo ungependa kujulikana kama Master Manondo ama Frederick Mula ama unatumia ya gani yani? Frederick Mula ndio ambayo iko iko all over. Frederick okay. Mula. Na hata Mula pia ilikuwa ni inspiration ya Camp Mula. Oh. 
from Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> so before that, nilikuwa naitua Freddy Flows. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, nilikuwa naitua Freddy Flows. And then, Camp Mula wakanya. Na wapenda wajamamba kale. Oh. Mwana. So, alifokuja, nikawa yile Flows. Yani Alaf- kuna, kuna moja wamba ya atakuwa kwenye hii podcast. You see. Yeah. Nani? nani? Tayo. Tayo. Yeah. Tayo ni Shacha Tinae. Ah, nice. Tinae. Yeah. Nice, since, nice. Since, since, you kama anakumbuka. So, nikatua yile Flows, nikaweka Mula. And then, kwa sabu nilikuwa naitua Freddy Flows. Na by that time Kendrick pia alikuwa ndio yuko on pick. Yes. Na nampenda sana Kendrick. So ni kona like jina langu mimi ni Frederick. So Kendrick, Frederick ni kona zina yeah. make sense. Yes. So ikawa stana sio Freddy, ikawa ni Frederick. Nice. Mula. Lakini nice. Mula ni kutoka camp. Yaani kila jina ambayo unaibeba kuna yani meaning kuna behind meaning, it. Yeah, kuna meaning behind it. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. That's so nice. So Moro yeah. Jazz litokea 2021, 2021. alafu ukafuatia na gani tena? Ah uh, baada ya mo, before Moro Jazz yeah nishakuwa na mixtapes and EPs. Okay. Before. 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 So after Moro Jazz ndio EP zilizotoka ni za Umoja Sounds mm. and then last year ndio nikatoa Master Manondo EP. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Alafu sasa I think umekuwa ukifanyia kazi yo mm. album Mm-hmm. ambaye hatujajua itatokea lini labda mm-hmm. itatokea 2024 mm-hmm. um, lakini provoka linielezea kwamba kwenye hii album yani tutaona a different side of mula mm-hmm. mula pia atakuwa naimba mm-hmm. sijui kama watu wanajua kwamba you also a singer ungependa ningependa uongelee hiyo pia ya yeah, watu watu wachache wanafahamu kama mimi ni mwimbaji kwa sababu hata wakati niko shule umaarufu wangu ulitoka kwenye kuimba sio kwenye ku rap really yes so tulikuwa tunaa concerts Um, kila end of the semester so watu wa muziki tunaandaa concert chuoni hapo so pia nilianzisha kitu chuo ambacho mpaka leo nakifanya so before chuo chetu ni cha Lutheran so kuna mambo mengi sana ya kanisa kanisa mm. naendelea so before ilikuwa tukifanya concert wanaimba tu nyimbo za kanisani na vitu kama hivyo so fans hawakuwa wengi sana lakini by the time wakati mimi nimeenda chuo ndo nili introduce sasa tuwe na kategori ya kufanya covers ya secular songs ambazo watu wanazipenda so nakumbuka wimbo wangu wa kwanza wa kwanza kuimba chuo ulikuwa ni he tunarudi tena Kenya South so <laughs> nelea ah. so nili perform nelea na rafiki yangu mmoja anaitwa Fonabo tulifanya live performance na ilikuwa ni mad yani ilikuwa ni mad ilikuwa mad kwa sababu hata walimu walikuwa Uh, kupenda hiyo concept ya mimi kufanya secular lakini mimi nimetokea kwenye secular ilikuwa ni mad na ika work so next concert watu wakawa wanauliza igwa ata perform kama igwa watu perform <laughs> sisi hatuji so mimi ikawa sasa nipo sasa walimu wakifika wanaambia so next concert uta perform wimbo gani nakumbuka next concert tukarudi tena Kenya nikafanya wimbo wa uliza kiatu wa mm. the heart bender yes heart the band tuka perform live I wish ningekuwa na hizo clip ungeona. Hiyo ukumbi wa chuo ulikuwa umeja. Watu wengine walikuwa wako kwenye madirisha, wanachungulia na mvua ilikuwa imenyesha, mm. inanyesha. By the time tunapoform huo wimbo, yani ni watu walichanganyikiwa, yani ilikuwa ni mad, ilikuwa ni mad. Mpaka baada ya hapo wimbo ukao kipita chuo chuoni kwenye madoms ya watu unasikia watu wanapiga ngoma ya 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 nani ya the art band au nani mm. na vitu kama hivyo. So chuo nilikuwa naimba basically like lakini nilivodi mtaani nikarudi katika basics tena za kurap so nikawa nimesikuimba tena muda muda mrefu sana but wakati nimeanza kufanya kazi na umoja sounds nisha record baadhi ya nyimbo za kuimba na nilikuwa naimba sana R&B so provoka kaniambia sasa hivi sasa you need to get back kwenye to wimba kwa the basics you know kwa sababu tumeona nyimbo chache ambazo tumezitoa za kuimba zimefanya poa kuliko za kurap so atuachi rap lakini inabidi tuanze but namna ya kuimba sio namna hii ya kuimba ambayo naimba sasa hivi akaniambia nataka uimbe afrobeat nataka uimbe afrobeat nataka uimbe Kiswahili ile bongo flavor ambayo mm. Kiswahili mnaimba na mimi sikuwa mtu wa bongo flavor nilikuwa ni mtu wa R&B so so nikachukua off kama kama 3 months hivi au 6 months nasikiliza afrobeat nasikiliza bongo flavor ili nijue wanavyoandika wanavyoimba na vitu kama hivyo na wimbo wangu wa kwanza ku record ambao kila mtu aliupenda ulikuwa ni wimbo ambao tumewachia last week sitachoka sitachoka mm. umoja sounds featuring me and Frida Amani nzuri sana yeah sitachoka 
So hapo ndo nilishaanza kujipata sasa kuimba hizo afro na vitu kama hivyo. So basi kuna nyimbo nyingi nimerekodi za kuimba na bado nilisha rekodi nyimbo nyingi sana za kurap. Nimerekodi almost kama 100 songs za kurap zipo kibao. Yeah. 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 So sasa hivi I'm, I'm collecting hizo za kuimba. Hata mimi nasikia kama ni interest ni kukusikia kwenye ukiimba kwa sababu mm. inanionyesha different side of yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, lakini pia ni ni ile tu mimi sija sija limit my potential. Yeah. Na pia ukiwa una, una rap yeah. Mara nyingi ulikuwa pia unaimba kwenye naimba pia kwenye kwa right. kwa ya yeah, nilikuwa yeah. na melodies kidogo yes, hapa yes, na pale yes. lakini this time na naimba yani kama na, naimba kabisa <laughs> you know yeah so that's so nice sija sija limit yeah. you know, limit na kila siku na kila kitu na kila siku najifunza you know? nice. kwa hiyo hiyo album ikitoka sijui inatoka lini lakini ikitoka hey, itakuwa itakuwa ni mad itakuwa ni mad sana itakuwa itakuwa ni noma yani Yeah. Itakuwa noma. Itakuwa noma yani nashukuru sana, nashukuru mm. Moja Sounds. Yeah. Nashukuru this podcast for presenting mm. me the opportunity to sit down with you kusikia yeah. history yako. Sina naona kwamba hiyo album ikitoka, tena yani inaona kama hii ni mwanzo tu. Yeah, hii ni mwanzo. Ya yeah, Master yeah. Manondo. Yani hey. wengi ambao watakusikiliza hapa, mm. ni mwanzo tu. Watakuwa yeah. wanakukimbilia watu wengi kwenye interviews nini nini mm. lakini mimi nafurahia nitakuwa one of the first people to yeah. interview you. Kwa hivyo nakushukuru sana yeah. Yeah. na nakutakia kila la heri ukiendelea na hiyo career ya yani na, yeah. naona tu kiena mbali sana sababu uko very mm. prolific yeah. nyimbo zako zote ni nzuri sana yani nashindwa kusema gani si nzuri yani kila wakati <laughs> nikisikia it's like you're so excellent tena mtu akikusikia ni kama umekuwa kwenye industry for such a long time of course unaitoa wapi hiyo conviction yani vile una deliver mm-hmm. ama ni kwa kuwa umekuwa una, unaandika na una rap maybe kama mm. uko una record for a long mm. time before because you, i feel mekua... the experience nimekuwa of course nina experience kubwa nina experience kubwa sana you know say i'm about to, to turn 32 mm. you know this year naingia 32 so kwa miaka yangu 32 ya kwa duniani na nimeanza eh, nimekuwa kwenye mziki some of my friends ni a list artist bongo na nilikuepo wakati wanaanza wote tukifanya pamoja you know so nimekuwa nikuepo na marafiki zangu ambao wote tulikuwa ni undergrounds wakaenda wakawasani wakubwa niko na kaa na waangalia you know lakini pasi yangu mimi nilikuwa ni tofauti kwa sababu ilibidi niende niende shule na vitu kama hivyo you know so nimekuepo kwenye industry lakini pia kitu kingine ni kama nilishaona kila kitu ambacho kitanitokea before so toka zamani nilisema inabidi nianze kuji kujipa a lot of information mapema so nilianza tu kutafuta na angalia podcasts na download uh, PDF books kuhusu music studio business na soma na vitu kama hivyo um, hata nilivotoka nilivomaliza shule kwa Tanzania wakawa akiwa kama na podcast za kuhusu mambo ya music business wengi walikuwa wananipigia simu naenda kwenye interviews tunafanya interviews na vitu kama hivyo you know so experience ni nayo lakini sasa hivi imekuwa ni kubwa sana baada ya kukutana na umoja sana manondo sounds. manondo you know so unakutana na provoka ambaye amekuwa kwenye industry ya East Africa kama 20 years. Yeah. You know, amefanya kazi na wasani wengi wakubwa. Yeah. So nilivyokutana nao jamaa, nilikuwa najua vitu vingi lakini nilivyokutana nao ndio nikaanza kuona okay, kumbe hakuna kitu nachokijua. So ni kama ile learning process ikaanza, ikaanza tena upya. So kwa vitu ambavyo na process sasa hivi. Hata <laughs> sijui na bado tunaendelea kujifunza, you yeah. know. Tunaenda essay ni kujifunza experiences za watu wengine na si tuna share experiences, you know. Lakini yote kwangu ni kwa sababu mimi natamani sana kuona East Africa music inakuwa ni kama kama West Africa wenzetu mm. Nigerians huko Ghana na vitu kama hivyo. So to me I feel like knowledge ambayo naendelea kuipata sio kwa sababu yangu ni kwa sababu ya kila mtu ambaye atakuwa yuko open kujifunza mm. hata na mimi kujifunza kutoka kwao. Mimi pia najifunza vitu vingi sana kutoka kwako. Last time nilikuwa naongea na this friend of mine anaitwa na Shosho. You know na hey, ana, ana mambo yake mambo yake mengi nikamwambia by the way inabidi umcheki huyu dada anaitwa Anyiko utajifunza utajifunza vitu vingi sana you know na hata nikicheki Instagram kuna a list artist wengi sana wame wamekufollow Instagram you know so hii hata hii interview wakija wakiiona eh itakuwa sasa huyu mula huyu huyu <laughs> sijui ni sijui ni mtu gani na mtu kama hivyo you know so experience ni nayo experience ni nayo na nimekuwa nikifanya hichi kitu kwa kwa muda mrefu sana nimekuwa mm. nikifanya kitu kwa muda mrefu sana na yeah inach, inachukua time you know kuna muda unakata tamaa ah umziki bwana 
mimi sitaki tena ninakuwa nafanya tunafanya lakini mwisho wa siku unarudi unasema eh hey, mula focus 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 yeah. fanya tu mambo yako fanya tu mambo yako wakati wa right time ikija kila kitu kitakuwa kitakuwa set eh yeah, so eh hey, now we here na hatuna plan ya kustop bado tuna tuna elevate you nice know. Yeah. nice yeah. asante sana master manondo king tai frederick yeah. mula for coming over to vip access yeah. any story yako imeni inspire sana na natumai mm. kuna um, yule ambaye nasikiza ama yeah. na to watch na yeye pia akakuwa inspired, inspired yeah. uh, afuate dreams zake kama zitampeleka country yeah, nyingine kama zitampeleka town nyingine yeah. chochote ambacho um, atataka kufanya yani you can do it you can do i it, think yeah, that's yeah. the takeaway from this interview it's yeah, been yeah, so yeah. nice to have yeah. you it's so inspiring i wish you the best um kuna kitu chochote ambacho sijakuuliza ungependa kuwaelezea wale ambao wanasikiza ama tuko sawa tuko sete au janiuliza una plan ya kuondoka kenya au kubaki acha saki uondoke labda yani tukimalizia tu mimi naomba tu niimbie ama uni uni uni, uni dropie tu a freestyle chochote ambacho unataka you know niliacha wimbo ni legacy Mm-hmm. Yeah, so legacy na wimbo wa legacy una maana kubwa sana kwangu. So the second verse ilikuwa inasema kwamba nimetoka mtaa na ndoto za kuwa star. Wanangu kibao ndoto waliziacha ba. Nikachukua neno ba na kuanza kutema ba, sasa hivi napeleka rap nzima beyond the bars. All I need is green kama space ya kiricho. Mungu kanipa uwezo wa kuziangusha walls zaidi ya kuta ya Jericho. I'm here and I'm ready. Nguvu lionayo <laughs> itakuua if you ain't ready nahitaji more ndo maana nafanye more achana na deuji atuongelee more investments kusumaisha na namna kupata placements ili kesho ukitoka no replacements born to be great ndo maana napambana kwa his space nje na nipa riba kwa kila place i'm blessed kwa kila place i'm in nafanya majabu who is best who is next i'm here vip access <laughs> <laughs> It's on this note that we're ending the show today. VIP access, VIP access. with Aniko and Africa Loud.